Gospel for Today Daily Mass Readings and Reflection April 25, 2023 Saint of the Day is Saint Mark, Evangelist First Reading 1 Peter Chapter 5 Verse 5 to 14 Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another, for God opposes the proud but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus will himself restore confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One. Babylon sends you greetings as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. Responsorial Psalm Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Gospel Mark chapter 16 verse 15 to 20 Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. Reflection. Proclaim the gospel to every creature. Gospel means not just the word of Jesus but also the message about Jesus. The disciples who hear him speak and witness his powerful deeds see him as more than a prophet or miracle worker. In the light of his resurrection, they believe him to be the Messiah and the Son of God. Their gospel includes both the word of Jesus and their belief about Jesus. The apostolic preaching would soon be put into writing, and Mark is credited to have begun the literary genre called gospel. In the Gospel of Mark, we find for the first time the words and deeds of Jesus is remembered and proclaimed in a written form. But, gospel, is intended neither as a formal historical treatise nor a biography of Jesus it is a proclamation. It is a document of faith intended to call people to faith. The carliest statement about the authorship of Mark's gospel came from Papias, Bishop of Herapolis around AD 140. He cites the testimony of an elder. Mark, having become the interpreter of Peter, wrote down accurately whatever he remembered of the things said and done by the Lord. 
but not however in order. As evangelist, Saint Mark is symbolized by a lion, the king of beasts, at home in the wilderness. This fits the opening scene of his gospel. The desert where John the Baptist proclaims a baptism of repentance. 